hey, I've organized all my playlists on this channel so that you're able to easily find different types of shoes, different brands of shoes, as well as uh, finding all my shoe battles, uh, worth the price shoe reviews, etc., all in one place. Enjoy. Welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. I want to talk today about a brand of shoes uh, that I was first introduced to uh, last year. Uh, it's called Loke, and it's made in England. Now, I have three pairs of shoes in my rotation right now. Um, I had a couple others that I picked up along the way, um, but this is a very difficult brand to get, uh, or at least it was, because they um, uh, limited export to the United States. So uh, last year, um, while I was traveling, I uh, went to the Loke store in Glasgow and to the Loke store in Edinburgh, and I uh, picked up a few pairs, uh, which I'll share with you now. The first one is in their second to best uh, range, which they call the Loke 1880 Legacy. And that is a pair of Adelaides that are austerity Adelaides. And this is called the Loke Evans. Now it's a, uh, it's a very well-made Goodyear welted shoe. Um, and it, uh, you know, the, uh, the leather on it is good, uh, but you can see there's some creasing there. Um, and obviously it takes the shine well, and it's very dressy uh, because it has no broguing in it, even though it's a traditional semi-brogue design, right? So it's basically an austerity brogue, Adelaide. Now, uh, I like Adelaide's, but I wanted to have a traditional one as well. And Loke makes two. They have the, the Loke Strand, which is part of their regular 1880 line, and then they have the Loke Trinity, which is part of their export grade, the Loke 1880 export grade. And this is the Loke Trinity. Now the Loke Trinity is a traditional Adelaide, but the leather quality on the export grade is significantly nicer than it is on the, um, on the Legacy. And the legacy is um, about the same, like the construction here. This is all the 1880s are going to be the same. Uh, the leather grade, they're all the same. It, it's more, I would say that the ranges here are, um, you know, very um, similar, uh, the 1880 to the 1880 legacy. But the export grade is very much a very different shoe. So what's different about it? The, um, the, the heel counter on this is leather. The soles are very different. This has a beveled waist. Um, and the overall quality of the leather is higher. Look at the creasing. Now I've had these shoes exactly the same amount of time. And the creasing on the Evans is just much, much greater than it is on the Trinity. Now, the Trinity, because it's part of this export grade, significantly more expensive. Like, 30% more expensive. But this is what you pay for, right? You get a higher quality leather, you get higher quality construction, you get higher quality um, uh, design with the, the, the beveled waist. And overall, it's just a better shoe. If I wear this shoe for 10, 12 hours when I'm traveling, my feet hurt at the end of that period. If I wear this shoe 20 hours while I'm traveling, my feet don't hurt. To me, that is the definition of value. It can be, you know, 100 pounds or $160 more, but I still feel like that I'm getting a better value because at the end of the day, my feet don't hurt. Um, so that, now that's my experience. I can't promise anybody else that they'll have that experience as well. Uh, but I do think that that's the kind of thing that you can look for. So now this is a very, very uh, nice shoe. I like the way it looks. Um, it's very traditional, you know, almond toe. And uh, so I wanted to go with it. But then I, I wanted to pick up something that was a little different, a little wild. And at the time I didn't have a whole cut pair. And so I thought this is a good looking whole cut. Now keep in mind, um, my, my first exposure in shoes was, was with Allen Edmonds in the US um, and they made a whole cut. Um, I think it's the McKenzie. And it um, has a very, very different shape. This is a classic European shape. And you can see um, 
from the, the creasing in the leather that the leather is just as high quality as it is on the other wear. But this is a hole cut and hole cuts are known to crease way more, but it really isn't. Now you have, you have some folds in there and so forth, but overall this looks like it's in pretty darn nice shape. And it's navy. And this is, uh, you know, one of my first navy shoes. Actually, my first pair of navy shoes was a Loke Bedell, which is a boot. Uh, and you can see some videos on my, um, on my channel for that. Uh, but unfortunately, I had to part with those to make room for, for something new. Uh, but I still have these. And these will remain in my collection, as far as I'm concerned, today indefinitely, because they're super comfortable. They're every bit as comfortable as the Loke Trinity. And they just are continuing to be in great shape. Now, again, you look at the crease lines between the two, and it's very, very different. You look at the crease lines here, and you know they're very, very similar. Maybe the creases just show a little bit better on the brown. I don't think that there's a significant difference. But I want to point out that this has a nice soft chisel last, and this has a round last or, or an almond last. And I think that that's a very interesting thing that you have a very nice variety as you look at uh, uh, as you look at the export grade. So export grade, uh, this is the top of the line for Loke. And um, you know, just a very, very well-made um, high-end shoe. Uh, now it's not, you know, they didn't do a blind stitch. There, there's a lot of things that they didn't do that they could have done. Uh, but at the end of the day, to me, the most meaningful factor is how well the leather looks after a year. Okay, that was last August, so it's been been a year and a, a few months. And I don't wear my shoes as many as often as other people do because I have a lot of them. But it's, um, you know, these have had significant wear, as you can see from the soles, and uh, they are. Um, in, um, they're in great shape, you know, they really are. So, um, price, they're pricey. Okay. And right now on the local website, they're, they're even pricier, but here's something that's new. Okay. Last weekend I was online doing research, uh, for, um, one of my videos. And I realized that the Loke website said, why don't you click to the U S version and we'll ship it to the United States. Well, this is pretty darn new since it used to say, I see that you're in the United States, please choose a geography in order to look at our catalog, right? Because you can't look at it if you're from the United States. And it's in dollars, uh, you know, and you uh, can PayPal and uh, they will ship to you, free shipping. No, it's not cheap. So hence this. Now, those of you who've bought a high quality belt before will recognize that this is a belt box, okay? And I decided that I was going to try a belt. Um, now, uh, if I look at my belt collection, I'm pretty well set for belts. Um, I do not have a belt for my Navy. So that's something that I need. But I also have uh, picked up a few pairs of light colored grain shoes and a number of grain shoes, okay? And so I did not have a grain leather belt. And so I picked this up so that I would have a nice pebble grain belt. Now, I will tell you okay, that the lining on this belt is very high quality Vigano, the same kind you would find on the inside of one of their high quality shoes. Uh, the exterior is the same leather you would find on shoes. And the grain is also very high quality. Uh, the skiving, everything on the belt is very well done. You have a brass buckle, uh, although a metal brass, steel brass or steel looking brass, nickel brass, I guess. And um, very, very well done. Um, and I ordered it on Monday and today is Thursday and it has arrived in the United States, shipped from Northampton. Pretty cool. So Loke now delivers to the United States. You can, you can go online and you can order uh, it is a really cool development and one that I wanted to share with you. And I thought I would share my look collection with you at the same time, because I really think that it's a good brand. 
Uh, it has, um, you know, if you look at the stitch density, um, you look at the um, overall construction, you look at the details that they put into the sole. And again, this is the standard. This is not the export grade. Um, that's all pretty nice. Even, even the heels that they do here, um, you get to the export grade and um, it's even better. Uh, this is stitch density that is significantly better, maybe two to one, two and a half to one better than you'll see it like an Allen Edmonds. Um, and that's not to say Allen Edmonds are garbage or anything like that. It's just that they don't really care about some of these metrics. So Loke does. So that's one of the reasons that, that I care for them. So um, it's a good brand, something worth trying. Uh, this isn't a shoe battle. I'm not gonna try to say which one's better. I'm not gonna ask whether it's worth the price. It's just more of a showcase, but I did wanna call out that Loke has decided that the American market is one worth having. And for that, I'm very appreciative. So thank you all. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching. Let me know your comments.